Malaysia has been hit by one of its worst floods. The death toll has now risen to at least 27. The Weather Bureau has warned of continued thunderstorms and heavy rains in southern and eastern parts of the country. Days of torrential rain have caused rivers to overflow, swamping cities, cutting off major roads and forcing tens of thousands of people to flee their homes. Malaysia's mostly densely populated and wealthiest states, Selangor, has been one of the worst hit areas. Many in its flood hit state capital, uh, Shah uh, Alam, were left stranded in their homes without food for days, before being evacuated on boats in a chaotic rescue operation. We have two kind of feelings. One, we have, we definitely will have anger because you know we was being, we were not being warned by the governments that the, the weather will be that serious and then the flood will be that serious as well. And then like there's, and then we have we are, we also felt that uh, we can't blame the government as well because these are beyond control by their side. It's like a nat natural disaster. We actually lost everything. Our cars, our house, is like nothing, <laughs> everything gone. So we, we, we hope that the government will give us like some support in terms of like uh, financially and then uh, anything. Lah. The Malaysian military is using boats to distribute food to desperate people trapped in their homes. The torrential rains triggered some of the worst flooding, leaving over 70,000 people displaced. While thousands of emergency service and military personnel have been mobilised, critics say it's not enough. The authorities have been criticised by the public and by lawmakers for a slow response. The meteorological department says Malaysia could see more floods in the coming days as a tropical depression moves towards four states in the north of the country.